I was this was brought to my attention by some uh actually a person that's in the industry and it's, it's sad because this is some decent art decent uh drawings uh material decent coloring and it's wasted on just such a a a ridiculous story but it is a lesson for you all in how to not write the female character uh, and the female heroine like and making a character unlikable because the whole story is the character being presented basically as a Mary Sue. And I will show you prime example of it. And it's sad because it's being done by this character. Of course, Nubia, who, you know, now that I think the, the queen in DC's sense of a, like the mascara, they, she's also gay, uh, still shacking up with some white woman, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, <laughs> DC gonna DC. But in this book, what is it called? It's a special. I think it's called, uh, like Nubia and the Justice League or something like that. And yeah, they're for sure about to do a lot with this character. That's generally what, what happens with DC when they start just throwing them in front of every fucking thing. She's going to be, trust me, they're going to do a lot of things, but with the, in this book, what they do, and again, not the way to write the female heroine or the heroine is that she can do fucking no wrong in this book. None. Like when I talk about literal perfection, but also writing the character, this is the worst that this happens like this. They write all of these known characters around her, basically having to validate her existence. And it was obviously an effort by way. I don't know if it was just a writer and an inability, or if it was one of those things where DC's like, overheads like you need to do this but like right here this is a uh, martian manhunter this is also uh black adam who's in the justice league now says what an exhilarating outing this is after this fight that it occurred uh in this story queen nubia you were excellent like martian manhunter saying that i'm forced to agree says fucking black adam you can be proud of your work today like but I didn't even, by the way, I didn't get every clip of this happening because it happened a lot in this book. Here's another example. Martian Manhunt. Her masterful aim, Nubia. To hit the ground around him, but the, the beast itself, but not the beast itself, just a remarkable shot. Like, why is Martian Manhunter talking like that? Another one. Uh, characters. There's uh, Black Canary, Hog Girl. Dang, she is cool, says Black Canary. This is legitimately in the book. This isn't like me just grabbing random screens. No, this is in the actual book. See, told you, like Black Canary, just up and saying it, like in, like not showing it, just in conversation, right? Another one. You're amazing. This is coming black in the air. You know that, right? It's like, why are they talking like this? I know you were waiting for Wonder Woman at the Hall of Justice, but wow, I'm really glad she was late. Of course, this is just a weird kind of panel where they have these kids saying, hey, you're dressed like Wonder Woman. And then one of the kids says, my mom says she's the black one. Like, what the? This, it's not a parody, bro. Like, I didn't edit this page. This this is what's in the book. <laughs> Look at this kid right here with the fade. His hair is like mine. Ball fade. It's a ball drop. My mom says she's the black one. Like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> And this is the way it gets like extremely gay. So buffed up white, uh, I guess. The mascara. I surrender my queen because, yeah, she's the queen. But like I didn't even show all of the examples. There are multiple examples of basically all of the characters around her. Are and it really the book ends with like her kind of being part like being in front of the Justice League. Right. She's officially joining the Justice League. 
is essentially what's going on. And Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman, of course, they show up at the at the end of it. And everybody's like talking out of character. Like it's weird. It's like because they're being wrote to gas her up. And she does do these heroic feats within the book. It's not that long. It's like 40 pages. Uh, she does these uh, like she fought, fights this like octopus looking thing. They fight. They, they, they fight. And she does these obviously heroic feats. Basically goes fucking untouched the entire book. Nothing like no no sign of struggle. No nothing. And the, the characters around where it gets weird. It's like okay, if you have her be a Mary Sue, like in action, whatever. You know, it's gonna be it, it, maybe it happens. But the fact that you got these characters talking out of character, just gassing her up, basically saying she's a she's the best. You're the best. That's what people mean when they say Mary Sue. This was a textbook version of that being wrote in his book. And it's such a disservice to the female character, especially one like Nubia. Uh, it's such a disservice because when you write them like that, of course, there's going to be those of us that are going to be like, this is weird. And then, of course, if you criticize the way you got a problem with black women, you got a problem with the female heroes. It's like, no, bro, that's not the problem. It's that you're you're incapable of writing a one that's decent. Right. You, you're just not good. That's all. It's a terrible way to write and it's wasted because look at the art. This is so solid. Like even definitely how they, you know, the, how they do some of the, you know, black character turn the texture of the hair. Like this is, this is the art solid color work as well as the art itself is solid. And it's wasted on some weird way of writing in terms of um, just writing all these characters, just gas this character up. Because I get it. Like, you can have her having a story where she's like, they want her to be a part of the Justice League, but what is this? It's just weird. So, don't... This is a lesson on just how to not... I, and I, they've done some weird stuff with this, with this Nubia character. I can't remember if she was... If Nubia is the character that... There was some like when they were doing the whole theme mascara thing, or oh, like it was some like uh, character that I think was trans, and obviously it was fat too. I don't know. I can't remember if that was how they kind of uh, retconned the Nubia situation. I can't remember if that was her. I knew it was. I remember it being another black character, uh, Amazonian, but I can't remember if that was who it was. Uh, if if they did tie that to Nubia, but. It's all out of whack. DC doesn't know what the fuck they're doing, and that's just what it is. Wherever you're viewing the content, I appreciate you. If you enjoyed it, you may be interested in my comic book company, Ripperverse Comics. Our first book and campaign, I Sum Number One, brought in $3.7 million with tens of thousands of satisfied customers. Visit Ripperverse.com to check out our store and stay up to date with the latest campaigns from one of the hottest new comic book companies. Also, my first big step towards a parallel economy was the development of my personal website, EricDJuly.com. This entirely replaced my Patreon. Now, if you enjoy this content, please consider becoming a member over at the website. We have an ever-expanding list of perks for various membership tiers, a forum, and a phone app. Some of these perks will even benefit you if you're fans of the Ripperverse. Anyway, I appreciate you so much for being a supporter and or customer. I even got a little love for my haters.